Hey guys, <clears throat> NDTV back with some Fire Red. In this episode, we're gonna fight Barack. And off screen, I leveled up Burn to level 15. Yep, that's about it. Whoops. Hiya, do you want to dream big? No. No. No, don't tell me this, I know this stuff. Stop right there. 10,000 light years from facing Brock. Yeah, that's where he's wrong. He's right in front of me. Metal Claw. No, nice, actually. Defense Curl. I'm pretty sure Metal Claw can still knock it out. <clears throat> no. Screw you. Bury you to death. Nice. I might gain a level up from this. Ember. Nope. Actually, yes. Yes. When any of the Kanto starters in this game reach level 16. Darn, light years is in time it measures distance. Anyways, yeah, when they reach level 16, they evolve. For those of you that don't know, uh, Charmander here is going to evolve into Charmeleon. Charmeleon. Yes. You're pretty. What? I'm just going to ignore what that guy said and heal up Burn because I want this fight to. Well, I want to be prepared for this fight. So you're here. I'm Brock. Yes, we know. Pokemon are rock hard, yup, his Pokemon are high in defense, but I'm still going to use Metal Claw. Show me your best. I will. Sends out June first. And Metal Claw. Oh, Charmeleon looks so sick. Sweet. Do it. Critical. Uh, your attack won't rise. Whatever. Onyx. This is Brock's ace, as many of you should know. So let's just metal claw this thing. Rock Tomb always lowers oh, fine. Yeah, it always lowers speed, which is kind of bad. Ooh, critical! Yeah. Ooh, almost level up there. I took you for granted, and so I lost. Yes, you did. And he gives us the Boulder Badge. Yep, we get to use Flash, but I'm not sure about that thing he said about badges making Pokemon stronger. Wait, take this. That should be Rock Tomb. Is it Rock Tomb? Yes, I called it. There are all kinds of trainers. Yes, yes, yes. It's gonna tell us to go to Cerulean City. What do you have to say? Yeah. 
Cerulean City. Let's take a look at the map. Oh, I had it registered. Let's see, Cerulean City. I just pass it right there. It looks far, but it's not that far from here. Oh wait, I'm gonna show you the badge. Yeah, the boulder badge. And we have some time, so... Hmm, let's... Go to the museum, I haven't shut it off yet. Yes, $50. Jeez. What does this guy have to say? The bones of a dragon. Aerodactyl, that's not a dragon. Looks like one, but it's not. Kabutops. Yeah. What do you have to say? I'm running a space exhibit. Space shuttle. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it was different in the first generation. Red, blue, and yellow. It was... What, what space shuttle? Spaceship was it? Moonstone and ordinary rock. Um, oh, that's where I got it from. On July 20, 1969. Ooh. Interesting. Go back down. Yeah, that's all there is. We'll be back here later, but not here as you can see. Behind the counter there's another door. We'll be going there later. Jeez, we still have a lot of time left. Yeah, okay. And this guy. Yep, Professor Oak's aide. And he gives us the running shoes. Re uh, the greatest item ever. Uh, let's see. A letter... From Mom. Yep, what the running shoes do. As you can see, I'm clearly walking, but if you press and hold down B, you run. This was introduced in Ruby, Sapphire, Ruby and Sapphire. And... yeah. And it's become a standard to have these items in every game after it. So if you're playing the originals, you don't get to run. <laughs> Route 3. Well, I'm gonna heal. And mm, I'll explore Route 3 later. Oh, we're done with that? Okay. Yep, I'm going to explore Route 3 later. We got a badge today, and I think we made some good progress, so... Yeah, let's save this. Yes, save. And that's it.